So this next story, you guys, don't be alarmed, because if this was dead serious, it would be red all over your screen right now. <laughs> I'm serious. But, uh, you know, uh, have you, some of you have seen some talk or even heard some references about this one online. NASA projects an asteroid will fly by Earth early next week. Don't panic again, all right? So given its size, the agency is considering this a potentially hazardous object, but Chief Meteorologist Bobby Duskin joins us right now with like a 3D uh, image of this to kind of show us, get, get, you know, get us in a little bit of context of this thing, right, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. First, let's talk about the size of this thing. So basically, I want to take you and compare it to the Skyway Bridge. The two towers at, at the peak of the bridge, right, between that tower and that tower mm -hmm. is about 2,000 feet, okay? Now, this asteroid is bigger than that. Goodness. It's it's about a third bigger than that. In fact, you could stack up two Empire State buildings and still have some room. That's how tall it is as well, too. Wow. Now, that's big, right? But where's it going? So let's talk distance. There's the Earth. There's the moon going around. On average, the distance between the Earth and the moon is about 238,000 miles. Now, how far is the asteroid going to be? 1.2 million miles away. It's way out there. But it's, it's called an Apollo asteroid, which means its orbit intersects the Earth's orbit. Doesn't mean it intersects with the Earth, but it's very close, and at times it could get close. This same asteroid actually was here 1933. It was 700,000 miles from us. It was almost half of the distance to what it's going to be coming up soon. Uh, and then, in fact, it's coming back. And it'll be about 1.4 million miles away, and that won't happen until 2105. I'm not going to worry about that one.